perfecting calendar. And your monkey be so hard you. And your backside trust for soca. Every night is in a brand new. The thing it starts. and salutations one and all welcome 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 to the night shift it's the end of another night shift week you can say the weekend start happy hump day to you how you doing how was your day what kind of day was it for you in South Florida, it was a pretty cool day. I want to say big ups to everybody who have it locked in right now, those tuned in on TuneIn Radio. The night shift is still down on TuneIn. All being well, everything should be sorted out by next show, which comes along on Monday. But big ups to those tuned in on rotterbox.net. Foundation Radio Network, One Harmony Radio. Top of the morning to you guys over in the UK. All the affiliate stations all over the world. PEMG TV. And of course, right here, KevinStew.com. Glad to have you. Couldn't do it without you. I wouldn't even try. Kicking it off with a little farmer nappy. You have a fetching calendar And your monkey bills so are you And your backside dust for soca Every night is in a brand new The thing it starts Hey, oh la la So the thing it starts Hey, oh la di da di da When you're listening to the radio And your soca playlists increase You just start to organize costume Cause you start to dream about the streets The thing it starts I want to say thanks to Paul C Media Group for sponsoring this segment of the show. When being in the moment is priceless. 
Let's go ahead and give them a call. 754-999-6020. Or visit them online, pulseemg.com. And tell them DJ Kevin Stew sent you, yeah? Savannah, you're ready to come out your cage. It's like all the fest can just pile up. You can't wait to run on the stage. The thing it starts. Hey, oh la la. See the thing it starts. Hey, oh la da da. When it's Monday night and you're tired and your whole body is in pain, how much money spent for your costume? Choose where we gonna gain. The thing it starts. But the thing it starts. I want to say big ups to those who jumped into the pot. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, messages, messages, messages all over the place. All right, let me see how we do this. All right, still working out the where what goes and it, 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 again it's a time for change you know it's it's well not a time for change but it, it is, it's a time when change happened and um for me it is a matter of a change of studio location and the re- rearranging of the studio so you know it's still working out some kings here and there and position of things here and there and <laughs> those of you who are regular viewers of the show right here on kevinstew.com you would know what i'm talking about greetings guest 51 in the chat good evening to you or good morning wherever you are in the world greetings to you uh, i don't know where the other guest disappeared to but um i hope they come back all right so Speaking of change, that's pretty much what we're talking about tonight. Change. And I don't know about you, but I have found adjusting to some changes difficult. And and, and I guess that's just me, but... And for the most part, I believe generally speaking it can be difficult welcome back 591 um and even positive life transitions tend to cause some stress so it's not just the ones when 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 i I talk about change it's not the ones not just the ones that say you know are the grueling 
heart wrenching kind of a change. Sometimes it's it's the ones that puts a smile on your face and puts you in a better place. Those can still be stressful. Over the course of a lifetime, a person can typically expect to experience a significant amount of change. Some of the changes such as marriages and new births and jobs are these are generally positive changes and they may be accompanied by their own unique stressors other major life transitions such as moving retirement entering the emptiness phase of life these may cause also quite a bit of stress now those who find themselves experiencing difficulty coping with life transitions may find it difficult to speak to a therapist some will find it super helpful and the ones that will find it difficult are the ones that i believe are the ones that typically have difficulty opening up but generally speaking it might be helpful to speak to a therapist you know to become better able to adjust to the changes that really and truly they have no control over certain changes uh, things like entering school starting a new job or starting a family can be exciting even when they cause stress I guess not all stress is bad stress because they are generally considered to be positive changes. Many people look forward to obtaining a degree, rising in their chosen field or having a home and a family. Changes, especially difficult changes, can influence personal growth. And dealing with a change successfully may leave you stronger more confident and better prepared for what will come next basically even those changes that are neither expected nor wanted may still produce some beneficial outcome and the unwanted changes can be rough at times can't they Change can encourage the development of skills or knowledge. And it may also bring about greater awareness of a condition or group. Example, the family of a person diagnosed with schizophrenia might become more aware of severe mental health conditions and their effects. Or the parents of a child who comes out as, as gay as a homosexual might become interested in LGBTQIA issues and they may be interested in equal rights and work to increase awareness. Change can also make clear what is important in one's life and allow for greater self-discovery and self-awareness. <laughs> My question is, when you're going through these changes and becoming aware of these things, what do you do? Do you embrace it? Or, wait, what's going on here? See? Change. I tell you now. Gremlins. Okay. Thank you. Um... Uh, somebody doesn't want me to say something stop it <laughs> in 1967 Thomas Holmes and Richard Ray developed a social readjustment rating scale that was designed to roughly approximate a person's likelihood of future illness based on his or her stress level. The scale is a list of common stressful events, both positive and negative, all of which are assigned a numerical value of life-changing units. 
So marriage, for example, the, the, the basis for comparison was assigned 50 life-changing units. Some other events on the scale, like death of a spouse, had the value of 100 life-changing units. Being fired from a job, 47 life-changing units. And revision of personal habits, 24. The scale was developed and validated by male subjects. But data from both male and female subjects in cross-cultural populations has provided fairly useful results and has shown correlation between stressful events and health concerns such as heart attacks, pregnancy complications, diabetes, broken bones, as well as non-medical difficulties such as poor performances in schoolwork or just poor performances in general. Because responses to stress can vary greatly between individuals, the scale is meant to be only an estimation of the ways that stress can affect life. It's not supposed to be used as a predicting tool. So, with that said, because change is one of the things that can cause stress, it can have an effect on one's daily life. A person facing a big change might experience depression, anxiety, fatigue, have headaches, develop trouble sleeping or eating, or abuse drugs and alcohol and this is just because of some change persistent symptoms of stress might improve with treatment and therapy but an individual may also be able to prevent some of these symptoms and that's usually a good thing when you can do something to prevent some of the symptoms Here are some of the things that we can do. 20 minute, 22 minutes after the hour. When dealing with stress. Research an upcoming change. If you know the change is coming, you can do some research into it. A lot of stress can develop out of fear of what is unknown. And when one is well informed about a change, it's easier to face. Things like moving. When you look at the area that you're going to move into, whether it is a job move or a living arrangement move, a housing move, you may find things that you like about that location that the location you're moving from didn't have. This is one of the things that influences a good feeling and can help with that type of change. So here's your research, and you found something that can help. Attending to one's physical and mental health is another one. Being healthy in mind and body may make it easier to cope with changes in life. Sleeping well, exercising, eating nutritional foods regularly may all be beneficial in improving both physical and mental health. Remaining calm in spite of stress may be easier when one's life is well adjusted and includes time for leisure as well as work. So take some time out to relax. Take a chill pill. Don't worry about what is happening around you for a moment. Just pause. It may be difficult to avoid making a large change immediately after another change because you know sometimes these things just run one into the other generally adjusting to a change takes some time and making multiple changes at once even small ones may not allow enough time for an adequate adjustment period what happens then 
stress or even more stress because now you're adding to what was happening before so stress on top of stress can't be good right a friend of mine would say no bueno no bueno and he isn't hispanic no <laughs> but still discussing any difficulties adapting uh, with another person that can help family members may be able to help one to adjust but professional help may also benefit those experiencing difficulty or stress as a result of life changes and I guess the professional help can come in the form of a psychotherapist it can probably come in the form of a pastor a doctor how about this a stranger on the street that would make it interesting right but funny thing is people tend to open up to strangers much easier than they open up to someone they know so you might need to make a friend if you're going through some changes make a new friend talk to somebody new and see what's going on in their life I just let them know that you want to share what's going on in yours it might seem strange but more often than not people do things like that 26 minutes after the hour think about it <laughs> could it be that rough could it be that hard could it be that far-fetched hmm I don't know some boy up be a girl and stress them out. Some girl up be a man and stress them out. But me a tell her no, 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 impress me. And a boy and a girl can. Well, me tell her no, she don't like me. I've got me all in stress free. So me no make nobody stress me. If me want to waste me money, you're mine. Work for every time. Can't go a grave with a dollar kind. Don't like me, I've got me all in stress free. So me no make nobody stress me. If me want to spend... This is the sound of Bugle. Chise me, me just want to know, send me all so nice. Send me, send me the foreign ass. It's called stress free. If I want to waste my money, you don't worry about it. It's mine. Twenty-eight minutes after the hour. We're gonna take a quick little break in just a few. Seven seven three seven eight nine Stu gets you in touch. Seven seven three seven eight nine seven eight three nine. Call a friend, tell a friend, tell him jump on into the stew part on KevinStew.com. The water is fine. It's where we keep conversation bubbling. If you're not familiar with it, it's what others call a chat room. 
And understand this, we're judgment free here. It helps to reduce stress. We're gonna take a quick little break. We'll be right back. Pulse Media Group, innovative streaming and recording, has done it again. A new way to get your business in full view of your neighborhood consumer through AdShare TV. It's available in your neighborhood today. It's easy. Just call us. 754-999-6020. Become a host today and place a TV monitor in a strategic location so it's easy to see. Get a one-minute video ad or longer that plays anywhere in our network. Can't be a host? No problem. For a few dollars, we'll run your 30-second video ad. A host can run announcement specials like buy one get one free or discount ads. Let's turn your flyers into a 30-second video with music or a voiceover or let us create and run your video ad with a spokesperson. Take advantage of our early enrollment discount. Join us today. Your ad will be seen at least 30 times per day in your AdShare TV neighborhood. It's easy. Just call us. 754-999-6020. AdShare TV, part of Pulsing Media Group. Are you crazy about the music industry? You aspire to hit it big in music? Or maybe you've sweated out a soulful killer beat and are now stuck finding it's not as easy as it looked. Oh, but it can be easy for you with JTMC. We've been there, we know how it feels. So we solve challenges like production, promotion, marketing, branding and development, and more. With over 30 years of experience, JTMC is a one-stop shop for artists. We handle your graphic design, writing services, PR as well as event planning, e-blasts, artist management and bookings, so also your website and social media needs as well. We're experts in using creativity to persuade audiences on behalf of artists, drawing on our diverse experience to create projects that connect with audiences intellectually and emotionally. Artist success is everything to us, and our years of experience and commitment will be behind you for every one of your needs. If you've got music for the world to hear, whether you're a new or established artist, visit us at jtmcenterprise.com. Roll out with Island Rock Music and have fun. Check out the quality apparel at islandrockmusic.com. Designed for you and your crew. Hear the music, feel the breeze with selected tracks and more. Available now from the online store at islandrockmusic.com. IslandRockMusic.com. Log on today and ride with us. Stepping, this a roots vibration. Stepping. Matthew twenty eight nineteen says, "Go ye therefore and teach all nations." With this in mind, and encouragement received during a South Florida media conference, the Church Links was birthed. The Church Links is an interdenominational worship service portal for churches, providing the tools to spread the word through technology in a cost-effective way. The Church Links www.dahchurchlinx.com Your links to worship and praise. I'm representing for DJ Kevin Stew, working on the night shift, the night shift, 
radio show. Won't go changing like the weather, just to please the devil never. Will DJ Kevin's choose sell his soul? That's a word and honor. It's Christine to represent him. Word and honor. Celestia DJ Kevin's true. Most of the Celestia the first. Yeah. As we try to run this hand, bounce the message. I ain't seen them of the most of the Celestia. Righteous God, I believe. Part with success So no, I feel no stress Cause I know I am blessed So I see I grew my lungs And my part with success So no, I feel no stress Cause I know I am Feel no burden No bridges that take to your mind The lift me so high Cause I know I am blessed So I see I grew my lungs All my pride with success Till I will not trust This is the sound of Crescente Track called I am blessed I open my eyes to see All the mystical blessings just sent for me No way I refrain from his energy My eyes is relieved till eternity I want to say thanks to GMAC Music Solutions for sponsoring this segment of the show. You can get in touch with GMAC Music Solutions, 754-307-GMAC. That's 754-307-4622. You can look them up online, gmacmusicsolutions.com. Preventing you from stressing right now. It just might be what you need to recognize to ease that stress. Thank you, Crescenti. A diagnosis of adjustment disorder is one of those things that can occur when a major life stress or change disrupts the normal coping mechanisms and makes it difficult or impossible for a person to cope with a new circumstance. Ever heard of that? Adjustment disorder. 
For those of you just tuning in, welcome to the show. We're talking about change, adjusting to change tonight. And we're looking at some of the ways that we can adjust to change as, as well as um, how to cope with the adjustment, how to cope with the change, how to be resilient when it comes to change. Seven seven three seven eight nine Stew gets you in touch as well as visiting KevinStew.com and going scrolling down looking for the stew pot. You can interact incognito. I promise you, it's judgment free. Say what you wish, as long as you keep it clean and you're not talking bad about anybody. Outside of that, let's chat. According to the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, symptoms of adjustment disorder tend to begin within three months of the stress or change and often includes a depressed or anxious mood, changes in daily habits, feelings of overwhelming stress and panic. Difficulty enjoying activities and changes in sleeping or eating. Sounds familiar? Take this for example. A man whose wife died suddenly might become anxious and panicked as he tries to deal with his new situation. Finding it difficult to go on on his typical daily walks or prepare meals. I know someone who used to take daily well regular walks and exercise with their neighbor and suddenly one day they noticed they weren't seeing the neighbor and they called and they didn't get an answer only to realize that the neighbor had had an heart, a heart attack and died Just one of those things, sudden. But there had to have been an adjustment to the absence. The condition may also lead to an individual to engage in reckless or dangerous behavior, avoid family and friends, and or have thoughts of suicide. Some medications do that too. A diagnosed adjustment disorder generally indicates that a person is experiencing more emotional turmoil than others facing the same situation might experience. Again, no two situations are the same and no two individuals deal with the situation the same. A young woman who cries frequently after death, after the death of her mother, is likely experiencing distress, typical to the major life change that she has experienced. But a man who quits his job and stops speaking to his children after the death of his wife may be experiencing a significant amount of difficulty adjusting to the changed situation. You get it? You see the degrees of change? Diagnose, it's, 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 it's adjustment disorder. There's no particular treatment for adjusting to change. Several different tactics may be helpful. Talking about changes in life with a therapist, such as a a, a marriage, the death of a family member, the loss of a job, or the approach of middle age. Some people go through midlife crisis. Talking to a therapist about these things helps some people. Any type of therapy is likely to be well suited to helping a person deal with dramatic changes in life. Whatever you consider your therapy to be, walking down the street, um, sewing, knitting, exercise, playing sports, (laughs) doing a broadcast. (laughs) I tell you all the time, this is my therapy. Whatever it is, deal with it. Use that as your therapy. 
When life changes prove difficult and lead to stress, anxiety or depression, a therapist can also help treat those issues and help one explore coping strategies. When people know that they do not cope well with change, speaking with a therapist before any significant changes in life occur may be warranted. In this way, one can prepare for changes and become better able to face them in the future, even without prior knowledge of potential changes. Again, there are some things that just jump up at you. Support groups and group therapy sessions also might benefit some individuals who have experienced a particular type of change. Things such as life-altering or illness or disability or even a divorce. They got support groups for that. So, quarter to the top. 15 minutes to the top of the hour. Let's look at some examples of <laughs> some of these things. Uh, case examples, if you will. Here's one. Adjusting to life after death of a parent. Um, Min. 22 year old anxious about finding a job and developing as an individual after graduating college the transition made a little bit more difficult by the recent loss of Min's father who died of cancer the year before talking about feelings in therapy is hard but doing so begins immediately to help Min feel better in therapy Min is able to outline life goals, identify a support system, and discuss the spiritual beliefs Min was brought up with and still experiences feelings of guilt for rejecting. The therapist also helps Min normalize feelings of fear about the future, for which Min initially felt ashamed. Min does not yet feel ready to commit to a lifetime career and the therapist validates this desire to first explore life's many possibilities before seeking long-term employment. Do you know someone like Min? How about Jenna, who is adjusting to her siblings coming out? She's in the process of transforming from male to female and has decide, decided to tell her family that she will begin taking hormones. Jenna's younger sister Emily is not surprised by the news as she knows Jenna often borrows her clothes and makes makeup to wear out. But she still experiences some difficulty understanding Jenna's need to physically alter her body and thinking of Jenna's Jenna as a female instead of a male. However, Emily wants to support her sister. And she <laughs> she tries to consistently use Jenna's chosen name and correct pronouns. She begins thinking of Jenna as her older sister and corrects her parents when they refer to Jenna incorrectly. Emily's parents do not reject Jenna, but they do struggle with acceptance. And this places some stress on Emily. At Jenna's invitation, Emily accompanies her to a counseling session where the therapist encourages Emily to, to ask any questions or discuss any stress that she might be experiencing. Emily admits her reluctance to talk about Jenna to her friends and her fear of accompanying Jenna to public places that might be so might not be so accepting. The therapist gives Emily some resources on combating transphobia and urges the sisters to discuss safety measures together. They also discuss ways they might further help their parents with acceptance. Have you thought about that type of change? That can be rough, right? 
Tom, 38, and Akimi, 36, have been married for six years. And they are now starting a family. Though they are both excited for the arrival of their child, they realize that a baby will have an impact on their lives. So they began meeting with a therapist to prepare for the change. In therapy, they discuss the effects that parental, parenthood will have on their leisure time. Romantic activity. It will affect their finances. It will affect their careers. The therapist also encourages them to discuss their individual thoughts on and approaches to parenting. So they can resolve any areas of disagreement. Deal with it before it happens. Makes sense. After a few sessions, they both feel better prepared to become parents. And they decide as a couple to participate in biannual therapy sessions, discuss any areas of concern that they may have. Preparing for the change. Dealing with the possible the, the, the adjustments. Um, even making room for the adjustment. Change is one of those things that is inevitable. But at the same time, can be quite rough. This is Nicolay. The promise is not the prize. Seems to me that I am always trying desperately to hold on to the clouds passing before my eyes. Hoping to find that silver line. The pot of gold they said for sure. Now I really understand the 
than I did the day before Will I walk through the open door? Will I walk through the open door? Because a promise is not the prize A promise is not the prize my benefits along the way But all I really want to gain All I really want to gain is Christ Because a promise is not the price Five minutes to the top of the hour yeah, this time you get two. Hello, good morning. There's a lovely day ahead. Lovely day ahead. Had a tear in my the sound of G. Cole. Yes, same G. Cole that does Homegrown with G. Cole. Mama, she's gone in the spring in the time. Jack is called like a bird. But whenever I'm sad, I remember her smile. It takes me around. And it comes and it's gone again. So I leave it to Jack. Like I'm starting afresh Everything's brand new And I'm so in love With life that I go to my bed Real early just so The night goes by Hello, good morning There's a lovely day ahead Lovely day ahead Had a tear in my eye but I walked it away Like I'm starting afresh Everything's brand new And I'm so in love With life that I go to my bed Real early just so The night goes by real fast And the morning comes The sunlight really makes me come alive I feel so free I spread my wings and light like a bird Hello, good evening I can see that you're walking alone Walking alone Can't tell that you're tired You've had a long day Can I walk with you home? Ooh, yeah The pressures are melting You're afraid to weaken me Believe me, I've been there before Just have faith Judge your nose and you see The feeling comes and it's gone again So just leave it to job Nothing that you can do It'll make you feel strong again Like you're starting a fresh Everything's brand new And I'm so in love With life that I go to my bed Real early just so The night goes by real fast And the morning comes The sunlight really makes me come alive so free, I spread my wings and fly just like a bird. Just like a bird. Just like a bird. Come on. 
Take a quick little break. When we come back, just like a bird, we look at how to be resilient. Call a friend, tell a friend. It's a night shift to DJ Kevin Stew. Real talk Wednesday. We'll be right back. When being in the moment is priceless, consider the ability to share that moment. If you can video it, you can broadcast it. And Pulse E-Media Group has the tools you need. Weddings, birthdays, funerals, graduations, church services, parties, seminars, you name it. Pulse E-Media Group can provide you with a secure medium controlled by you to broadcast your event. Contact us at www.pulseemediagroup.com for more information. Pulse Emedia Group, when being in the moment is priceless. JTMC Music presents the highly anticipated, much talked about, the Juggling Rhythm Volume 1. This classic rhythm takes on a new life with tracks from both established artists and introduces some incredible new voices. Get your dancing shoes ready with the Juggling Rhythm, featuring international reggae dancehall artist Missa Vegas, alongside Ian Sweetness, Ed Robinson, Jack Radix, Hezron, Dangling, Joanna Marie featuring Galaxy P, Denny Rance featuring Jawiz, Amber Leek, Christine Alicia, Yishka, also the new sensations on the rhythm, Seal, Danger Lee, Marquis Skelenar, Zachary, available on all digital media outlets. The Juggling Rhythm. Get it, get it, get it. Matthew 28, 19 says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations. With this in mind, and encouragement received during a South Florida media conference, The Church Links was birthed. The Church Links is an interdenominational worship service portal for churches, providing the tools to spread the word through technology in a cost-effective way. The Church Links, www.dahchurchlinx.com your links to worship and praise. Hi, this is Caramanti, and you're listening to DJ Kevin Stew, and this is the Night Shift. Feel me pain, cha-cha, 
That's quite a while. I want to say thanks to JTMC for sponsoring this segment of the show. Uh, JTMC handling handling a lot of your event needs, um, entertainment, tour management, bookings, promotions, event media, social media. JTMC can take care of that. 678-793-8800. That's 678-793-8800. Or visit them online, jtmcenterprise.com. Thank you, Joanna Marie and crew, for sponsoring this segment. Um, for those of you just tuning in, we're talking about change and dealing with change. And while we're on the break, uh, a little bit of a change to our program. <laughs> Got a call. Greetings. Hello? Wait. Why why am I not hearing you? Okay, say say something again. You see? These these gremlins. These gremlins. Alright, hold on. Let's try this. Alright, go again. Okay. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Excellent. And so can everybody Greetings. Else. Awesome. Greetings to you and all of your listeners. Melissa, Melissa Jane, Jane, welcome, welcome, welcome. Isn't it past your bedtime? <laughs> <laughs> you know, My sister from another mister. Last night about, about um, sleep. Yes. And uh, I decided to turn off every electronic and just turn off the lights and sh- go to sleep. <laughs> good night. <laughs> you got, you got a real good sleep, working. right? <laughs> nice. So, what, what what's going on, sis? What, what what do you have to share with us? Yeah, I, I, I'm interested in this topic of change. Well, first of all, my name, the name of my show has changed. That's the yes. first big thing that's changed. Yes. And you know, of course, it's going to take people a little while to get used to it. Yourself included. You know, saying, instead of saying the Lady Song Show, the same, the Melissa Jane Show. Yourself but included. After, right, exactly. <laughs> I even trip up all the time. So, um, you know, I've had that name for such a long time, mm-hmm. but it doesn't really reflect who I am now. So change is inevitable, just like you said earlier. Change yes. has to come in order to grow in order to move on, to move to the next level. Um, and, and I think what I've done over my life is really embrace change. Mm. So I wanted to just give you guys a little insight into some of the changes that I've made and how I adapted and was able to embrace it. You know, nice. Go most ahead. people, they will have heard the accent. They know that I'm from England. Yeah. But... I was born in Birmingham, England. My first major change was moving to Oxfordshire, where there are very few and far between people of color. Mm. So that was a huge change. But I guess the way how I adapted there was, and this this was the same for any people of color that was there, Anytime you saw another person of color, you would reach out to them and just say hi and, and where you're from and, you know, and just be, become instant friends with them. Wow. <laughs> so so that were, the there were that few. In that small town became friends. Mm. What were you going to say? Uh, I, I was saying there were that few people of color that yes. as, as soon as you saw them, you just connected. Yeah, automatically, just connected. Yeah, to wow. your, your friend. <laughs> because you could walk through the town within 
20 minutes. Right. And that's how big the little town center was. You okay, know? okay. So that was the first major change. The next big change was moving to America. I moved to New York. Now, New York was drastically different. <laughs> I can't imagine. You know, there was a lot of things that were, that I didn't like. There were mm -hmm. a lot of things that I had to get used to. You know, just the volume of people was just, you know, weird. Right. But um, I think the way how I adapted there was just to, you know, when you move into a different, a different environment, a different living quarters, there's a couple of things that you can do just to feel settled. One, for me, was to at least have a few close things around me. So I want to make sure I have my phone always. Make sure I have my computer and always have a, uh, a, a overnight bag or a ready, a ready to go bag, you know, just so that you can have these things ready just in case, you know, <laughs> things don't look so well. You just so back good. up and leave? So don't <laughs> back up and leave and, and, and be out of there. But <laughs> I, I didn't have to do that. But, you know, just in the settling in period, the first couple of weeks or whatever, you had, I just had those things available just so that I felt somewhat settled. And then the other thing is to do is to find find out the lay of the land. Find mm -hmm. out where are the the libraries, the, the the you know, police station or the hospital. Those type of things that are crucial in case of an emergency. To find those things out. That's doing the research. Yeah, you do research before you get there and when you get there to find to make sure that these places are where they say they're supposed to be, you know? Right, right, so, right. Like you, you were saying earlier about finding finding a way to you you mentioned therapy. Yes. You know, find a way that makes you feel comfortable. And these are some of the things that I need to make myself feel comfortable. So I didn't have anybody. I didn't know anybody when I moved to New York. I mean having a having a job that uh, that transferred me, that was a comfort. That was a comfort. So at least I didn't right. have to find a job. I already had the job. Right, right, right. So just other things. And then as you go along, you build friends, you build connections. And, and before you know, oh, church, of course, find a good church. Mm -hmm, find mm -hmm. a good church as well. That's always a, a, a good, solid um, uh, footing. Right. If, you're, if you're a part of an organization that has a lot of, lot of um, branches, then that's very easy. Mm -hmm. Because typically you might even know somebody who knows somebody. Yes. You know? Yes. Um, following that, was to move to Florida. And again, I just took the same approach as, take, as, as going to New York. I don't think I had the overnight bag. I think I pretty much was like, you know what? I'm staying in Florida no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> the weather is nice here. <laughs> <laughs> but but um, the, the one thing that I did um, here in particular was just to find out what's happening. What's, what's, where, where, are the, where are the good events? Where are the concerts? Where are the um, theaters? Where are the plays? Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that I can just go out. And that was actually how my show got started, in fact, because I was yep. finding out where is everything going on. Right. Built up enough um, a, a list of things that people start to ask, hey, well, what, what's going on this weekend? What's coming up? Mm -hmm. uh, and that was how the, 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 the Melissa J show, now known, Yes. Uh, came about. But, um, yeah, change, change is inevitable. You know, you got to change. you got to grow. Embrace change when it comes. Sometimes the change is not going to be to your liking. Mm -hmm. But sometimes a, a, a setback is just something that's getting, you know, getting you ready for a, a setup. It's getting you ready to do something bigger. For example, if some people might get fired from a job or lose their job for whatever reason. It may not be their fault. Mm -hmm. It could be just downsizing. But they turn around, build a thriving business, right. and they might not have had the courage to, to, to step out on faith. Had they um, been in that, that job. Hadn't ha that if they stayed in that job because right. the job was very cushy, very comfortable, but having that bit of a push has enabled the person to, to, to flow with that change. Don't let it intimidate them. But uh, look for um, a, a different solution, a higher solution. So right, right, right. Those, those are just a few tips that uh, that I thought I would share with, with you and your audience as far as adapting to change. But you know, it, it, it's quite interesting that you should go through that because that's typically 
the things that they have listed when adjusting no. to change. Oh, reading? <laughs> yeah. Researching. Okay. Researching. Um, take okay. care of your physical and mental needs. Relax okay. a little bit. Um, okay. Okay. These are some of the things, you know, you, you find coping mechanisms. Mm. And you you basically did all of those things. In fact, mm. wow. <laughs> it's funny because you, you mentioned events. We first met at one uh-huh. such event. That's right, that's right. <laughs> but, um, let's go back to <laughs> <laughs> And look at us now. <laughs> yeah. But uh, these these are the little things, and you know sometimes we don't really know what it is that will help us get through this. Um, just yeah. like you said, sometimes it it, it looks like a, a a mountain in our way, and then before we know it we have conquered that moment that that mountain and That's we're standing true. on top of it yeah and saying you know yeah. all right next <laughs> bring it <laughs> yeah so y- y- your experience i'm i'm pretty sure there people migrate all the time people move all the yeah. time mm-hmm. I had done it when I moved to Chicago. I was in Chicago for a year. I knew mm-hmm. when I was moving there, I knew two people. Okay. And <laughs> the amount of people I knew, I know now. I, I, I'm worried about visiting Chicago because I have to see all of them. <laughs> <laughs> So I might, I might, in, in visiting Chicago, I might need to sneak in and sneak out. <laughs> yeah. But and, and Trump, it's life. be a sociable person too. Well, I try to be. Yeah, I'm I, I, I do try to be. Because, again, coping mechanisms. Yeah. You don't know anybody. Get to know some people. That's right. That'll help you to adjust. Mm-hmm. MJ, I want to yeah. thank you. Yeah. And you know, it's 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 people like you, although you're in the industry also. But the ones who get to share because they can relate, they they share from a relatable point. And I don't know who cannot relate to this. Yeah. But it's yeah. Change it. yeah. Hearing somebody else talk about it, I'm sure it helps somebody. Um right. <laughs> my guest on Monday, Latanya. She went through oh. tons of changes. No. No, 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 no. And right now she's going through another change because She's going to be coming on your show next week. Yeah. So those who missed her on mine will get to hear her on yours. That's right. And more than likely, they'll probably get another side of the story too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But uh, but I digress. Thank you for allowing me to share. Um, ah, not a problem. Changes and uh, no doubt there'll be many more changes. There's a, there's a change coming up very soon. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm so looking forward to your change. I'm so looking forward to this change with you. <laughs> Listen. Oh, looking forward to it. Congratulations beforehand. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll update you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sis. Keep tuning in. All right. Have a good night. All right, you too. Good night. 19 minutes after the hour. So, being able to cope with change, 
as you've heard Melissa Jane just now talking about dealing with that, it's 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 what is known as resilience. And although your environment and your genes might influence your level of resilience, that amount is not hardwired. It's not set in stone. And practicing different ways of thinking and being in the world can boost your ability to deal with change and help you create a life that is adaptive to new places and unexpected events. So what can you do to increase your level of resilience and coping with change? Well, you can evaluate your level of control. Sometimes it's easy to become fixated on events over which we have no power. Or people who might never change their actions or their attitudes. But rather than focus on blaming others or moving the unmovable, resilient people set their sights on what they can control. To evaluate your level of control over a situation, you ask yourself, what can I take responsibility, responsibility for in this situation? And when you look for opportunities to empower yourself and work towards change that is possible, then you're less likely to feel stuck in difficult situations. A lot of time, life transitions involve losses. Things like death, a big move, loss of a job, uh, a relationship ending. And even positive transitions, like graduation, job change, um, leaving some people after a, a workshop, or going away to camp. These little things. You know, you're going back home, you're going back to, from the workshop em with, with new energy and new information and material. But it still makes you feel a little bit sad. During these times of transitions, you don't want to push away any grief that you might feel. Acknowledge the loss. Pay attention to what you've learned from the experience. Seek support and camaraderie among friends and family and consider speaking with a counselor or other mental health professional if you feel you need extra support during the transition. In times of change, it's easy to find that your mind in your mind you cut corners and you might see everything in black or white or you assume the worst will happen but if you take time to examine your thought patterns and assess how rational they are you might find some space to nudge your thinking towards resilience if you're not sure how to slow down your mind, practicing relaxation techniques such as mindfulness or deep breathing can help you to feel more in control of your brain and how to evaluate your major change. You can also generate more positive thoughts if you take time to remind yourself about transitions and challenges you successfully navigated in the past. Make a list of the ways that you've been resilient in your life. Consider what traits and actions might be able to see you through the current challenge. By focusing your strengths instead of your weaknesses, you'll feel more empowered to meet what you have to deal with. And while it is, it is important to look behind you, look in your past for your strengths, sometimes you can feel too pulled into the future in times of change. When you worry about what the future will bring or what mistakes you might make, you tend to forget to be in the present and observe what is happening around you. To bring yourself back to the present, get in tune with your body, pay attention to how it responds to the stress, and set aside time every day to relax. Take some deep breaths. Bring your focus back to the present. Let's try it real quick. Breathe in. Let it out. Once more. Now close your eyes and do it.
don't worry about anything don't think about anything just close your eyes breathe in and let it out open your eyes and know that where you are is safe and it is where you're supposed to be at this very moment the most resilient people see change as an opportunity rather than a monster to fear transitions in life allow you to consider where your priorities lie how do you really want to spend time on earth what's really important to you where do you see yourself wasting your time and your energy with a clear sense of your goals and your values you'll you'll find your mind and your body can be much more resilient when it comes to the stresses of change above all things prioritizing your health in life transitions means not being afraid to help to ask for help when you need it humans are social creatures and we're this way by nature so you weren't built to withstand every sudden event in life without the support of others talk to family talk to friends there are some that would possibly be experiencing similar changes or consider finding a support group in your community Ask your doctor about how to prioritize your health during change. And don't be afraid to talk to a counselor or other mental health professionals about building resilience. You cannot, cannot, and I say again, cannot avoid change. But you live a life of resilience. You can embrace transition and see challenges as opportunities to thrive you don't have to stress it see it as an opportunity and that opportunity that you recognize all you need to do is just grab it and make it your own own that time own that opportunity take the bull by the horns and say i am in control of you you're not in control of me yeah it's a big bad bull and it's strong but you were designed and put here to be master of the beasts of the earth right recognize it and claim it that beast that stress that change you can deal with that. again take that change and make it your own get it while it's hot get it while it's fresh get it while it's new and hot off the brain this is tenor blue get it while it's hot get it while it's here turn it to capitalize on that moment next week get it while it's hot because i'll be out of here To shatter all doubts and answer your questions Who is Tenna Blue? What are his intentions? Come on, to share with my people the gift of good music and celebrate life I say So get it while it's hot, get it while it's fresh Get it while it's new and hot off the brain Once again, I want to say thanks to JTMC Enterprises for sponsoring this segment of the show. Oh 
we have now entered that segment called Musical Therapy. Thanks, Sir Rockwell and the Wake Up and Live show for sponsoring this segment. Sir Rockwell kicks it off tomorrow morning at 7 with, the, with Giving Thanks. The Giving Thanks segment happens at 7 a.m. That's how he starts his show each and every day. And you can catch him full live and in living color, full broadcast on rockthebox.net. How wide is the sky? How deep is the ocean? And what is the color of this simple potion? So if you love blue, then get yourself in motion. Tweet, wiggle to the rhythm, dip on your hip, or oh, wind up your waistline. Now. Therapy time. Oh, when the night becomes the morning, the sun This is the sound of Jay Will Birds and the raps and Kush band. Check, it's called Think I'm in Love. Sit in my favorite chair, pick up the morning paper, then smile from here to end. Oh, this loving feeling that's coming over me. Could it be I'm falling? Oh, heavens, could it be? Yeah, I feel like a child. So humble in my eyes. Oh, oh. That's what you do to me. Yeah. I think I mean it oh, all. Oh. Months of been, we've got a bottle chilling and the lights already dead. The night is just beginning. There's something else upstairs. Oh baby, oh, oh, this loving feeling that's coming over me. Good I think 
This is sound of Danai. I'm locked in world's game. DJ, your music goes to your team. We pop in champagne. A track called Rock and Come In. Straight so we could have never leave. Read about us like you read a magazine. Banjo will press slime upon Swiss with the sea. While me left things I search for them queen It's like a dream Never know how me would have take them girl Now them I search for them with investigation team Zane yeah. Had a pattern she up just like a close So me just saw her like a sew and machine Zane yeah. Rock and come in my friend You and your team are spent Girl you look good Girl your body look good I could have danced all pop and rock me no matter Dance to the beat, beat oh girl Been rocking to the beat, the beat Never know that life could be so sweet, so sweet Cause I've been rocking to the beat, the beat Never know that life could be so sweet, so sweet Cause when up a lover, we have the champion in my papa Kick up drip in a color, I cheese them Love me and them a color, when they track and fire I no speed fire, you fit no one say you're something hotter, hotter Yeah, like a lover, just a rock and come in And got you, got you, just a rock and come in And they dance, just a rock and come in And got you, got you, just a rock and come in And they dance Just a rock and come in, rock and come in yeah. Rock and come in and they dance Oh, when the sun goes down and the moon gets bright And everybody in for the night Me need some company to make the mood feel right Someone to squeeze up tight Me need a nice little person Put the dark person once shares his mind Me need a nice person Come and we take a ride Come and we drive out Press are you alone? There's no contest But until Searching for true love Someone who's in from above I want her to be my girl Oh, she is my And together we rule the world We rule the world Come and we take a break from the up and down Come and we take a show to Spanish town Me and the king so I you to wear the second crown Me and go pick your way when I come down, eh? Because I you me like me, I sit down and I pray to make you be wife. So do me right and make sure you be right. I me, I tell you how me feel on a Tuesday night. Oh, oh. I'm still searching for you. Sound of King Charles. Track car still searching. From the album of the same name. When the sun goes down and the moon gets bright, and everybody in for the night. Me need some company to make the moon feel right. Someone to squeeze some tight. Yeah, need a nice impression. Now we are me, Mr. D. When you reap the nana tree, can you save a punch for me? Save a punch for me 
It's 20 minutes to the top of the hour. 20 minutes before I get out of here for the remainder of the week. But I never, ever a neighbor. Him a farm, big like This is the of the real storm. Some nice from cassava, but him never carry any brother. If me not answer the back door open, so you're waiting, you're planting. Welcome 40 and 954 to the show. Thank you all for tuning in. It's what we call a musical therapy. It's the last one for the remainder of this week. For me. The son of Shanika, track called With Like I Do.
Frankie B featuring Daniel. A track called You Bring Me Joy. remix here because we have fun like that 10 minutes to the top of the hour 10 more minutes before I get out of here I want to say, say once more thank you thank you thank you for this week but thank you for sticking around with me thank you for your support thank you for your participation I want to encourage you to look out for members of your community as you go into this weekend, this strong end. And your community is not just the development that you live in, but it spreads far and wide. So whether you walk, ride, or drive, whether you're on the bus, on the plane, on the boat, or the train, the people that you see, the people that you go by, these are members of your community. Do something for good for one of them today because you never know who's going to do something good for you tomorrow. My name is DJ Kevin Stew. So I like to do it to you, for you, and with you. This coming weekend, one thing I want to make special mention of. On Saturday, Willie Stewart and Friends, Rhythms of Africa. I gave away some tickets to that. I'll be there. I hope to see you there. They have two shows. One at 3.30. No, one at 3, one at 7.30. This is happening at West Broward High School in the auditorium. 300 North, Northwest uh, 208th Avenue in Pembroke Pines. If 
my memory serves me correctly and i do believe my memory serves me correctly um tickets are available on eventbrite just go on uh look up rhythms of africa real easy and you can get your tickets sounds simple enough right not much of a challenge right rhythms of africa and it's guaranteed 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 to be an awesome awesome event 209th avenue it's 500 209th avenue so choose a show buy your tickets go event right get your tickets early um it's happening this saturday 3 p.m show 7 30 p.m show pick one either way you can't afford to miss it This is Ed Robinson. In my eyes. A track called oh, Baby, I Will girl. Be There. You will see for sure that I do. This love I have for you is still pure and true. From the start of our story, throughout our life's journey. And as the years go by, we're blessed in this. So baby, I'll be there, yeah, right by your side. Girl, you don't have to worry, you don't have to cry, cause I'll be there, right by your side. Girl, you don't have to worry, you don't have to cry. Still, you're asking me if I still care. Big stalker tune. In the dim lights cast, two silhouettes on the shade. Oh, what a love. This is Joanna Marie. Silhouette, silhouette, silhouette. Oh, still wet, still wet, still wet. Okay, I'll be here. Put her arms around your waist, held you tight. Wondering why I'm not the one Whose silhouette's on the shame I couldn't hide the tears in my eyes Silhouette, silhouette, silhouette Silhouette, 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 silhouette Before I go, I want to encourage y'all It says you're going to the strong end Be good But if you can't be good be good at it. Lost control and rang your bell. I was sore. Let me in or else I'll beat down your door. When two strangers who have been two silhouettes on the shade said to my shop, you're on the wrong block. Silhouette, silhouette. To your house with wings on my feet Loved you like I never loved 
Commissioned remix. Let's get it on. Hey, yep, this is how I get out of here. Like uh, thank you, each and everyone. Catch you Monday. We're gonna lay it on. Well, catch you Saturday at Rhythms of Africa. Right on early cause the heat is on, yeah. Then I'll see you on Monday. Take care. Consider the ability to share that moment. If you can video it, you can broadcast it. And Pulse E-Media Group has the tools you need. 
Weddings, birthdays, funerals, graduations, church services, parties, seminars, you name it. Pulse eMedia Group can provide you with a secure medium controlled by you to broadcast your event. Contact us at www.pulseemediagroup.com for more information. Pulse eMedia Group, when being in the moment is priceless.